accommodate the the competitive scene, which I am all for. Because I mean, the competitive scene is a large majority of you know who plays. I honestly don't know the the casual crowd. I don't know like if there was like a pie chart, I couldn't right. tell you like who the competitive side was. But uh, I'm very happy to see that they they remember us, man. Well, nice. the, the thing that's really cool about this game is like easy to learn, difficult to master. So no matter how casual you may find yourself being, you want to get better. You yeah. want to improve. And when you have one of those clutch wins, you're just like, okay, I'm committed. Mm. So Night Shadow J versus Specklar. Yeah, Specklar played a pretty mean puff back in the day. I remember that. And in my in my opinion, Jigglypuff is still kind of cool. Uh, she wasn't really all that cool in 4, but I, I don't know what it is. Like, keep in mind, I am not a, a, an advocate or Jigglypuff enthusiast by any means, but I Too just... Too late. Already on Twitter. See you in Reddit for it, buddy. Yeah. Oh, man. You're done. Oh, no. Can't. I'll tell you what, though. Jigglypuff is a legitimate threat in this game. Mm. Back air, if anything, is one of the dirtiest things you can do to in this game. You'll be at 25%, and you get back air nine times in a row and lose your stop. That's awful. That's it feels bad. Oh, it does feel bad. But uh, Speklar definitely knows how to play the aerial game, for sure. And, uh, he's good at mixing up his approaches from what I've seen. Ooh, the jab. Ooh, that jab. Ooh. Look at the man with the boy. Watch for the hook. <laughs> Jigglypuff squares up on you, man. You can get those hits out, too. Uh, uh. Okay, but the thing is... Ooh, okay. Yeah, and fire actually really wrecks balloon characters. Like, that forward smash is going to kill Jigglypuff a lot earlier than other characters like, of that, that weak class because Jigglypuff's so low. He might be looking to torch that helium more often than not. He needs to do exactly that to try to turn us around. Spec, what I feel like he's doing really well right now is just disrupting Night Shadow's overall game. Mm -hmm. It's just like, I'm just going to go ahead and float around your attacks. I don't really have to worry about your neutral that much. I'm going in on my turns, and it's it's really hard to deal with in some situations. Yeah, that wasn't the best approach from Speklar. Definitely going to get punished for that. He's like, what are you trying to do forward airing me before I get on the stage? <laughs> cheeky, what are you cheeky. About? What are you talking about? It's going to cost him a stock. 100.2% is all that's going to rack up on this Jigglypuff. So far, stymie. Mm -hmm. Mari. Very nice. Uh, interesting approach for Specular, but definitely still getting a punch for that. Uh, Pound can still wreck your shield. Still oh, destroys yeah. your shield. Ooh. Nice. Okay. It's a small shield there for Mario. There's the grab. That's going to connect in big and throw. Oh, how you doing, Jigglypuff? Yeah, Jigglypuff's up air has always been kind of lackluster. <laughs> been kind of missing out. Okay, dash attack. I've always kind of been hesitant and reluctant to use dash attack with Jigglypuff. Just kind of out there. I always liked it as a combo ender mm -hmm. because the, the lag is just not fun. Ooh, almost oh, connected no. and it's going to be enough. I think we got Smash Forward here. Feels less than great. Uh, less than great. I think. I think we just got smashed forward. You might be on to something there. I think we just did. Oh boy. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely uh, that's a tough one for a lot of people who don't really know how to fight Jigglypuff, especially in this game where recoveries are just nerfed completely. Yeah, if you if you're really quick on a draw about using your double jump, there's gonna be a back air waiting for you. You just shouldn't. I think if you were Mario, you want to be using that cave to stall. Uh, you also want to use Flood. You really do want to use Flood against Jigglypuff. Uh, just for the sake of the fact that you'll be able to position her in the way that you want. Yeah. I think he went a little too aggro when it came to the edge guarding. But that was only one game. So we could definitely see more from the Mario. But in terms of watching out how Speklar approaches, because he was throw, throwing out all types of weird like maneuvers, like I'm gonna pound because the the active frames are forever. Right. And, you know what I mean? Um, really, just space out because you have, I believe Mario. I could be wrong. I would love to hear um, if Mario still has invulnerability on his head when he does up smash. I think he does. I'm pretty sure he does. Uh, but yeah, Mario is more than capable of comboing. Oh. Oh, but we're not playing Mario. Okay. Okay. We're playing Bowser Jr. Okay. I had theorized some ways that Mario could turn things around for game two, but why not just switch over to Bowser Jr.? We were talking about. Oh, no. Oh. Gimped. Oh, no. Gimped. It hasn't even been 10 seconds. Mm, 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 mm. That's okay. I think uh, all Night Shadow needs to do at this point is seriously just stay away from Jigglypuff because he's just allowing a shield to just get just hammered on. It's not a good look. He's got to start using the neutral airs. Forward and back are really strong for Bowser Jr. I, I, I don't think the, the 
down B or the cannonballs within the net too much because Speklar's just been all over in these areas. I wouldn't say cannonball in the neutral. Uh, Ooh, good Ooh. down smash. Okay, yeah. okay. But definitely Mecha Koopa all day. Mecha Koopa all day. You want to be throwing that out like day job. Okay. Oh, good grab. Yeah, B. That's going to be uh, ambitious against the Mecha Koopa. Like you said, nice grab. I've got the Mecha Koopa now. This is the Okay, that was a really good spacing from uh, from Night Shadow. The back throw is not going to quite do it yet. Oh, that hit him. Nice to be timed. Up B. Actually, one of the strongest attacks Bowser Jr. has is attacking outside of the clown car, I've noticed. Oh, no. That is going to be the second stock. Night Shadow tried to switch things up, but... Uh, I think I saw Night Shadow try to do down air out there. It, that, that might have killed him. Didn't help. Certainly didn't help. No. Okay, Mecha Koopa <laughs> doing its job. Doing one heck of a sneak in person. Yeah, the grab forward air is going to be enough. Two stocks. Can Night Shadow do it? Yeah, I think uh, Night Shadow is just trying to contest with hitboxes that aren't exactly starting out. Like, it, he, he's starting out with moves that are way too crazy in startup mm -hmm. against Jigglypuff, who's just throwing out wave after wave after wave of attacks that have really short startup. I like that return using the upbeat, gets the attack afterwards, gets back onto the stage in dominant fashion, but 83% no is starting to get racked up. Speklar has just been harassing the percentage bar of Night Shadow from Zero. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was some ninjutsu from Jiggly. Hello. Jigjutsu. You gotta watch out for those cannonballs from Bowser Jr. You, you might drop your shield too soon and realize that oh, I can still hit you in the face. Mm -hmm, definitely. Oh, trying to get the, the tech zone from Jigglypuff here. Okay. And the air dodges are getting uh, Night Shadow in trouble here. Okay. Good recovery. Good recovery. <gasps> oh, you go to sleep, boy. Go to sleep, boy. You go to oh. Texas to your face. <sighs> Hope you got insurance for that clown car, buddy, because oh, oh. it's going in for repairs. Oh, no. I think... Uh,